And how about your mother? Because she was in Poland. You were you were here in United States. What was this experience for you and for her too? Um, being far from my mother was very hard. You know, being the only child. Um, and I know it was hard for her as well. But, you know, I, I remember when I was graduating the Lauder School in Warsaw and, and when I actually came to America for Pesach, I was invited to come for the first time to come to America. Mm-hmm. And I went to my rabbi, Rabbi Lieber, and other rabbi, Rabbi Naishnus, whom, whom I met actually in Warsaw one time, um, you know, I told them, you know, I'm about to graduate mother school in Warsaw, what should I do? And they said, you know, we'll try to help you come to America. And when I came to, back to, you know, my mother, um, and I said to her, mom, you know, I, I might be able to, you know, come to America to learn, you know, in yeshiva, can I go? And she wouldn't say anything. She wouldn't answer. So I would, you know, keep asking her, you know, Mom, can I go? Can I go? Can I go? And eventually she said, if you want to go, go. But of course I knew that, you know, it was hard for her. Um, to let me go, but I also knew that she wanted me to get that Jewish education that she never received. And that's why she actually would bring me to this Lauder camp in Poland, so that I can get this education. I can learn about what it means to be Jewish, about the holy days, about things that she never learned from her parents. A few things, but not enough. But for me, that's what she wanted. At least I should have that. Later on, you know, when we joke around, you know, I would teach my mother what I learned in Yeshiva, and she would say, who's that chicken over here? Who's the egg? Who was first over here? Who taught you first? But she was happy, I know, I know these things, and she was happy, I could teach her. 